Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, I'm going to talk about body planes or body sections. So body planes or sections. Um, and I like to do this with a little kind of a stick figure guy. I'll give him a bit of a torso though. So imagine he's standing here in anatomical position, arms out to his sides, and so on. There's his face. Um, for the first body plane or body section, imagine as this first person standing here facing him, we did a section or a slice straight down through. That creates, notice it creates a left half of the body and a right half of the body. This is what's known as a sagittal section. In fact, specifically because it's in the middle, it's a mid-sagittal section or mid-sagittal plane. We could also do the same kind of straight up and down with them facing forward kind of plane or slice down through the body. And notice that we're a bit off center here. Um, so this is what's known as a parasagittal plane. Parasagittal. That's what this one is. The last one I'll do with him facing forward, imagine that we took a slice through this way. And notice that this is called a transverse plane or a transverse section. transverse and that creates a top part and a bottom part and it wouldn't matter whether I was doing it where I did here roughly in the middle or if I was doing it up here or here it's still a transverse section or transverse plane the last one I'll do with him facing forward like this because it doesn't matter which way he's facing for this one any diagonal section or diagonal plane to the body is going to be an oblique plane or oblique section. And those are all the sections I can do with them facing forward. Let's look at it from the side. And to do that, I do the same kind of stick figure guy here. Whoops. Forgot the torso. There's his shoulders down here there we go oh whoops I forgot we're supposed to be facing to the side so there's his nose he's still happy even though we're slicing him up he's got really big feet apparently and there's the arms or at least one of the arms sorry um so they're facing sideways to you we take a slice straight down this is what's known as a frontal or coronal section frontal or coronal section or plane. And then we could do a transverse section here as well, or again, we could do an oblique section from the side. Transverse section and oblique. Um, what I didn't mention before for the frontal or coronal section, notice that it's going to create a back part and a front part. And again, we could say that we could do this kind of frontal or coronal section at any point on the body. Where this really matters medically that I know of most of all is when we talk about medical imaging. So let me show you what, that, what this kind of thing looks like when we're doing medical imaging. Okay, what you see here are three different images um, of different sections through the body, as you would see with a CAT scan. This is actually some CAT scan results that were done on me. Um, so let's go through what we see. In the upper right-hand corner here, this is a... Can you make out what's there, first of all, just for yourself? Well, the organs that I can see here, this is the heart. And then we've got some ribs on either side and these black spaces here by the way they're lungs and then down here this is the liver 
based on that, the liver I know is on the right side of the body. So this, pa this person would be facing forward. And um, what kind of section would this be? This would be a um, frontal or coronal section. And you're seeing that section, I guess, digitally represented. Um, so anyway, this is a frontal section. And let's look at the one here on the left. This one you can see some uh, a vertebrae back here, the ribs coming around. Here's the heart. Here's the sternum. So this is a transverse section. Be a transverse section through somebody. So you, you can see how these are useful. Understanding that terminology is useful when you're looking at um, CAT scans like this. One more down here. What kind of section would this be? And here we see the vertebrae and the heart again. There's the sternum in front. Um, down here is a bit of the liver. What kind of section would this be? In this case, it's pretty close to a mid-sagittal section. At any rate, it's a sagittal section for sure. Um, the thing that I think is neat about this, by the way, um, I can grab this X here, and when I do, I want you to notice what happens up here. If I grab that X and move it upward, we're just going through different transverse sections of the body going up. Um, what just came into view here, by the way, are the scapulas. And if we keep going up into the neck, now we can see um, that air tube, the trachea, and probably part of the larynx. So it's kind of neat that you can travel through this way. I can do the same thing if I grab the X up above, and if I take it towards the front, you'll see we start, um, sorry, on this image over here where we're seeing the um, frontal section, we'll see that start to change as we go forward. And you can see the ribs come down. One of the things I find fascinating, just on a personal note, because this is actually me, this means on my right-hand side, one of my ribs actually bifurcates. Follow this little rib here as I go forward, and you'll see that it kind of opens up and connects to two pieces of cartilage, which then come back and connect. It's kind of neat, if you're a weird geek like me. Um, so that's watching that frontal section change. And we can do the same thing here. Watch this one down here while I move this sideways. Mid-sagittal is around this neighborhood. And if I go over here, now we're doing parasagittal. And we lose the heart, but we see a lot of the lung. Go to the other side, we can look at the other lung. If you ever have to have a CAT scan done on yourself, by the way, um, usually the, the x-ray technician type people, they're more than willing to give you a copy of your disc. And then you can play like this and look at your body parts too. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this because it's I think it's better to see how these terms frontal and transverse and sagittal, how they matter in terms of medical imaging. Let's go back and do a quiz up on the board. Okay, so back here, let's do a quick quiz just to make sure you understand these sections. Um, I'm gonna erase your notes. Person's facing forward and imagine that we draw a line straight down through the center. What kind of section is that? And the answer, of course, is this would, in the center, it would be a mid-sagittal section. Um, what about if we did the same thing, but we did it on, off to the side over here, maybe? What kind of section would that be? For that one, it would be a parasagittal section. What about if we did a section right through here, creating a top and a bottom part? That'd be a transverse section. And since I'm facing sideways, let's do the other one. What about, as I'm facing sideways, straight down this way, creating a front part and a back part? And the answer to that one would be a coronal section or a frontal section. Same difference. And then again, lastly, let's do the last one. If I started up at this shoulder, went straight down at a diagonal and came out that hip, what kind of section or plane would that be? And that one would be an oblique section or ob oblique plane. And that's body sections.
Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thank you once again for watching.